everyone uh, welcome to my channel Nicklix and in this video I am going to explain uh, how to implement session in PHP uh, how you can implement uh, like session variables and you can just like uh, use session variables for like uh, login and logout functionalities of PHP so in order to implement uh, session variable we need to create a form uh, we can just look uh, make a a kick form let that be actually the name let's copy this and p the password and we can say input type submit name save when you save right to this I can just implement a PHP and I'm going to save here it as XAMPP HDocs session demo its form let it say a session form dot PHP right so we can just uh, we can just set localhost session demo and session form dot PHP so here my form is being displayed and now and uh, we can just say like uh, if i'm going to we can just implement a form method as post so that every value should be hidden over here so if not empty dollar underscore post save uh, the save is in small letter so it will be a case and set so post n and p uh, p is for password and now i'm going to say here as uh, let's bind it with uh, uh, direct with static value so name is admin and and means uh, the both values should be matched equally so if the name is admin and the password is admin uh, it is going to take me uh, to another location that is location home1.php else it's going me to take uh, says me that login page right so that seems to be perfect let's say its name is admin and the password is admin so it is going to take me to uh, like I can just put here a password uh, so location home one dot php. Let's make a file with the location home one dot php. Welcome to home one, and I'm going to save this file in this session demo folder with the name of home one dot php. And here I'm going to attach one uh, the logout button. So if the user is clicking on this logout, it is going to take me session form dot php. So let's look a uh, look how it has been implemented. So if I'm going to enter the name with admin and the password with admin, and if I'm going to click on a save, uh, so it's going to take me uh, to uh, you can say uh, home1.php. So in case of uh, value save, you can just do here a login. So it's it's taking me to the uh, my username is admin and the password is admin so that matches correctly so it's going to take me to the header location home1.php now the home1.php file is been opened in front of me and uh, we can say here as we have put a button name a logout in the home1.php and here we can say like when I'm going to click on this logout button it's going to take me to the session form.php so let's have a try what is going to do here is if i'm going to click on a logout button it is it is taking me to the session form.php so uh, how this session has been implemented let's see if i'm not going to implement a session what's the problem it is going to originate for example uh, we are going to enter a name with admin and uh, username as pass admin and admin and uh, uh, we can say here as if I'm going to log out from here and if I'm going to press a back button it's again taking me to the home1.php so it's like it's not been ha happening uh, in the uh, in the websites like Facebook or Gmail because if you're going to log out from your Facebook account or a Gmail account 
And if I'm going to click a back button, will it going to be enter into your home page? No, never. Because they are implementing the sessions, they are implementing session variables. Once you log out, your session variable sets to be expired. And when I are going to hit on a back button, uh, it's been checking that we, uh, well, uh, whether your session variable exists or not. So if your session variable exists, it's going to take you to the home page. If session variables is not existing, then it will be taking you to the form page. So let's have a look how it has been implemented. So if you want to implement a session variable, you have to write at the top of the at the top of your the first line of your document as session underscore start. And now you can just if your username is uh, correct and the password is correct, then you can say I am I'm creating a session variable with a U name and its value I'm going to uh, make a set. Uh, I'm putting a value in a session variable called U name and that value is called as set. So uh, after the session, like after the name and password has been matched and the session variable has been created, it is going to be, take me to the home1.php. So in the home1.php, I'm going to access this session variable. So if you want to access the session variable you have created in the session form.php, you have to put this line again into your uh, this your this document the home and php and document and do remember it should be a first line of your file so here i am going to check here is if empty dollar underscore session uh, it's u name so if u name is empty uh, it is going to take me to the uh, header let it be location it's session form so what I, I'm going to access this session variable that has been created in the session form.php once user log in with a right username and password. And in the home1.php, if I'm going to access that session variables which I have created in the session form.php, I need to make a, I need to put a line as session underscore start in order to access that session. And uh, now I'm going to put up, put up a value over here that if empty session you name that it is going to take into the session .ph. So uh, let's see what happens. So if I'm going to access the value from like if I'm going to open a page of home1.php directly into my URL, then it's taking me to the session form.php right now. Because uh, if I'm going to see Again, if I'm going to type here as home1.php, if I'm going to click on a enter, it's taking me back to the session form.php. Why? Because if I'm going to access here directly, sessions underscore start. So right now we have a session U name as empty. So it's taking me to the session form.php. So uh, if I'm going to this login, like admin and admin. So now uh, basically uh, my, uh, username and password was admin admin and uh, uh, it's it was correct and a session variable with the u name has been created and then uh, we are going to switch with the home1.php and here it's been checking that if session u name is empty so right now it is not empty because we have uh, put a value of set in my session variable u name so here uh, this condition stands false so the welcome to the home one and the logout button is being opened in the front of me. So now I'm going to sign out this. Uh, I'm going to uh, log out from my home page. So if I'm going to log out my home page, I'm going to uh, send a, like uh, I'm going to send a query string into my URL. So uh, I'm sending session that after clicking on a logout, it is going to take to the session form.php and a query string will be generated uh, that is having a name as log and value equals to one. So here, uh, when this file is open, if I'm, I'm just going to check here is, if not empty, dollar underscore get log. Uh, so if not log means if you have a value as a query string into your URL of, uh, you have a variable with log into your query string, then uh, whatever session is going to be made uh, or whichever session is been existing right now into your browser that will be destroyed. 
So we have a function called session underscore destroy that is going to destroy every session variable that you have created into your browser. So let's see how it is going to work. So home1.php right now it has been open after clicking on a log uh, logout. If you you can just see here the URL uh, is uh, session form.php and the log equals to one. So log equals to one. And uh, we can say whereas if not empty log underscore get log. So right now log is not empty and session underscore destroy. So if I'm going to click on a back button, it is not going to take me to my home page because the session has been expired. So if I'm going to access this home1.php, basically it's uh, right now your session you name is expired. Uh, it's not been existing, so it is taking me to the session form.php. So once I log in with the proper username and password credentials, it is taking me to the logout page. And if I'm going to log out this, if I'm going to log out this, then it's going to take me to the session form page. And if I'm going to access home1.php from my URL, it is taking me back to the session form.php. So that was all about session variable in PHP, how you can implement a session variable, your uh, username and password validation in your PHP. So I hope you like my video. So do subscribe to my channel, like this, and stay tuned with me for getting all the latest tutorials. Thank you.